Hi beautiful people. Sorry, I'm just trying um, my camera again today. I have bought a tripod, so I'm hoping that once that comes it will be a bit easier because at the moment I'm balanced on a whole lot of pillows and boxes and things. <laughs> That's not ideal. So um, I'll give it a go anyway and see how it goes. So I just hope that I don't move around too much because I'm on my bed. So I thought today I would do a January favourite, so I haven't done a favourites before. So I thought I'd give it a go, and so I'll get started. Um, first favourites, um, I bought a kit of Kabuki, Sigma Kabuki brushes. So there's five in the kit. Show you there. Five. And I like best, I think, the flat angle Kabuki, which is the F88, and... The Sigma, uh, the obviously Sigma, sorry, the Flat Kabuki F80. I think those would be my favourite. I've also got one for um, eye shading, which is the E55, and I really like that. For skin, I have a few products. Um, I have two Dermalogica products. One is a daily microfoliant, and this is a really gentle. Um, exfoliator that you can use every day. Um, you just wet your, your face and then it's kind of like a powdery, a funny powdery kind of product and you just rub your face for a little while with it and then rinse it off and you can use it every day and it's very good. It's quite gentle and it does exfoliate well. I have just purchased, which I haven't got yet, the Clarisonic Mia. So once it comes I'll be quite excited to see um, how that works. Heard a lot of good things about it. Um, the other product by Dermalogica is the Multi Active Toner. It's quite a big size, um, and I just put this on after my after I've cleansed, and um, just spray it all over my face, and then let it dry, and then put on primer or moisturizer, um, and that's a very good product. Two primers that I really like. Um, one is the Chorus Anti Aging Primer. You'll be able to see that I hope you can. And one is a Stila Hydrating Primer, SPF 15. Um, so, yeah, I haven't uh, got a lot to compare with because I haven't used primers much in the past, but I really like these two. And then um, a really good moisturizer, which is very, very um, on the cheaper side, it's just a drugstore or a department store product, and that is a Cocoa Butter Formula Night Renewal Cream by Palmas and it's a really really good product I absolutely love it um, you can just it's it smells a little bit it's not very got a very strong scent but it is pleasant um, it's very thick and rich and um, in the morning your skin feels absolutely amazing so that's definitely a favorite for me for tanning um, Saint Tropez I bought this a few weeks ago and I'll just show you there. It is an excellent um, tanner. I've tried a lot of different ones, but this um, builds up a tan very quickly. It's a foam. You can see um, exactly where you're putting it. Um, and it, it's not orangey, it's a very nice tone to it. So um, I recommend that. For hair, Sorry if I'm a bit disorganised, I've just got everything in a box here and it's probably not ideal, I need to have everything laid out in front of me. First of all, the Tangle Teaser. Um, I bought this on Trade Me, um, I don't know if they sell them in New Zealand, they're a UK brand. Um, but it's a fantastic brush, you can use it when your hair's wet. Um, it's very gentle and it doesn't pull on your hair, it's um, really soft plastic kind of bristles. really like that. Um, the Kira Stars Elixir Ultimate is a favourite of mine and it's nearly empty, it's got a gorgeous smell or um, scent should I say and it's just like the other kind of oils, the, the Moroccan and the Macadamia, they're all similar but I really like this one particularly, it's not too heavy and it does smell gorgeous. Um, now, initially when I used this product, I wasn't um, overly impressed with it, but I have become sold on it now. It's the Macadamia Deep Repair Mask, 
Um, this is nearly empty actually. My hair's been quite dry lately because it's obviously bleached and it's been quite hot and dry, and I've been out in the sun quite a bit. So um, this is it's really good after you take it off. I leave it on for a bit longer than it says. I leave it on for about 15-20 minutes and then when I take it off my hair feels absolutely silky and smooth and very easy to comb through. So I really like that. And then there's the Osis Dust It. Um, I really like this for texture. It's a mattifying powder. I just um, rub it through my roots at the top. I haven't used it today but it gives a lot of volume and um, it's a really good product because you put it in and then you can comb or brush your hair and then just kind of do that again and it will come up. Your hair, will, the volume will come back um, and it lasts all day. It's a very good um, mattifier. It's just a light control but I really like that. Um, one more, oh sorry, two more, three more for the face. Um, the Stila SPF Tinted Moisturiser. I really like that. Um, it's just gives you a little bit of colour and it is a really nice moisturiser as well. And then the Dermalogica, this is one of my very favourites, is the Sheer Tint Moisture SPF 15. It's a lovely moisturiser and a little bit goes a long way. And um, it, again, it gives you just a very subtle kind of um, <laughs> subtle bit of colour to your face. I'm just going to try and sorry position this a bit better. It's sliding off the pillow. <laughs> um, and then for my eyes, I like the Elizabeth Arden Perpetual Moisturiser. Um, this is it's a 24-hour eye cream. 15ml and it's lasted me ages. I've had this for quite a long time, but I use it twice a day, every day. And then for lips. I just have the three products. Um, I absolutely love, 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 love the Maybelline Baby Lips. This is um, Smoothing Cherry and I love this product. It's amazing. It's inexpensive and it really really moisturizes your lips tastes lovely and it lasts well then I have um, Maybelline 705 twinkle I'm wearing this today and it's a very pretty very very pale shade um, but it's just it's just nice if you're wanting a more slightly more natural look and it stays on really well and then another favourite, and I like all the Revlon lip butters, I think they're brilliant. This one is um, Lollipop. Quite a deep dark colour, but it's very, very pretty again. So I highly recommend the lip butters, they're very good. Um, now for jewellery, I'll just show you these um, rings. My hands aren't really good for flattering the rings, but they are the Forever Rings that Alex by Alex Designs um, that Dazzle Effect um, produces. She has her own jewellery line that she sells worldwide and they're very unique, original and well made pieces and I really love these rings. Um, they're just a little bit different and I get a lot of comments on them. So that's just one thing for jewellery. For makeup, now I've only just, you probably know I've only just started using makeup fairly recently. But um, certain things that I have been kind of sold on. Um, I think I showed this earlier on in one of my hauls. It's Chameleon. And I haven't heard much about this at all on YouTube. But a couple of things that I really like in it. And they don't have names. But I really like that blush uh, there. That's a very nice colour. It's kind of a burnt orangey. And there's a lip colour in it. Which I really like. And that's the middle middle one there. It's a bit hard to see but it's a really gorgeous lip colour. So the powders I'm not so sold on. <laughs> Excuse my rooster. Um, the eyeshadows are okay, average, um, but those two things are very good in that in that one. Um, I just bought recently the Hoola Benefit bronzing powder and I absolutely love this. I absolutely love it. It's um, a little bit goes a long way and it gives you a really nice natural looking kind of tan um, bronzed effect. Really, really like that. Then I've got the NYX or NYX um, the Runway Collection 
Bohemian Rhapsody. Really, really like these colours a lot. Um, particularly that one there, the white one, and that one. So again, the bottom ones are matte, and the top ones are kind of more sheer, a bit more silky looking. Glittery, <laughs> silky glittery. And then there is the Philosophy little supernatural colouring book, which I love. I've used this a fair amount. Um, particularly like that lip colour. I like the eyeshadows and I like the middle um, blusher. For nail polish, my favourite of the month is definitely the OPI Nail Lacquer in Koala Berry. This is a gorgeous colour. I've got it on my toes at the moment. I have had it on my fingernails and I absolutely love it, love it. Um, mascara, my favourite, and I've heard a lot about this and I really, really like it, is the Maybelline The Falsies. Really good product. Um, makes your eyelashes literally look like you almost have um, like false ones on. It's um, my favourite by far. I have tried quite a few mascaras and definitely, definitely like that one. Um, for eyebrow pencil, I found that I needed a slightly lighter coloured one than I was using before and I have found an absolutely perfect one. It's the Revlon Brow Pencil in Dark Blonde. Um, and it's absolutely lovely. I, it goes on really nicely, it lasts, and it's a very nice colour. For eyeliner, I have um, the Revlon Wet Dry Eyeliner. This is a kind of an olivey colour, but I really like this. It's not quite so kind of bold. I'm not very confident yet with eyeliners. Um, so it's a little bit more subtle than the black. And for teeth whitening, um, my teeth aren't that white, but they started off being quite discoloured um, over the years. Kind of most of our family have a little bit yellowy teeth, but this is a bright white extreme whitening pen and absolutely works really, really well. You just kind of paint it on and leave it on for 10 minutes and then um, rinse it off. And you can use this twice a day and it works very, very well. My teeth are definitely whiter than they were. So I think that's. Um, all my favourites. I hope that the lighting is okay and I hope that this video turns out okay. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, I love you guys. Take care and I'll be back soon. Bye bye.